sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Yukon Quest. I know, and it's warm. Yeah, yeah. And you were saying that you went out to the trail. Last time I was at the finish here in Fairbanks, I almost froze to death. I was about 40 below zero. So I'm sure it's a nice surprise for I said for I'd that. never do that again. To have it be warm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of warm. we got a young sports guy to do that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Joe. <laughs> speaking of cold, here is our almanac for February 2nd. It shows a normal high of 4 degrees and a normal low of 16 below. The record high was set in 1981, and Alaska's and Alaska was having a bad year in 1993 at almost 60 below. The sun rose this morning at 9.33 a.m. and will set tonight at 4.40 p.m. It gave us seven hours and seven minutes of daylight, a seven-minute gain since yesterday. Sounds like a lucky day. Here is weather around our state today. Fort Yukon is overcast with some snow showers. Barrow is in an active wind chill advisory with wind chill making it feel like 50 below. No seeing overcast skies with snow showers. Overcast skies and the possibility of snow showers are also on the horizon for Fairbanks, but it is warmer with an 11 degree high outside right now. Healy is partly cloudy with snow showers. Juneau is overcast with rain. Ketchikan is overcast with rain as well. Bethel is projected for snow showers. Rain in Cold Bay and rain and snow for Kodiak. Rain is also moving over Nome while the LDs will get snow, mostly cloudy skies in Anchorage with snow showers. Moving on to the lower 48, Partly cloudy skies are moving over Seattle today. Las Vegas will also see them with some light wind. Denver is partly cloudy as well with highs in the high 50s. It's overcast in Minneapolis with up to one inch of snow accumulation possible for them. Highs in the single digits. Atlanta is partly cloudy with a chance of rain. Highs in the mid 50s. New York is overcast with up to one inch of snow accumulation possible for them as well. Highs in the low 30s. And lastly, Miami is partly cloudy today with light winds. Highs in the mid 70s. Back in Alaska, Fort Yukon will see overcast skies and snow showers tomorrow, as will Nome. Bear will see continued um, their continued wind advisory with wind chill making it feel around 45 below. Fairbanks will continue to see overcast skies and we might get a little snowfall tomorrow. Healy will see the same with highs in the mid 20s. It's overcast in both Juneau and Ketchikan tomorrow with highs in the high 40s. Both are looking at the possibility of rain as well. Mostly cloudy skies are projected for Bethel and Kodiak. Bethel is expected to see a chance of snow, while Kodiak will get snow and rain. Overcast skies will move over Cold Bay, and they will also see a mixture of snow and rain. And that snow and rain is making its way down to Homer with mostly cloudy skies. Valdez will see a chance of snow with overcast skies and Anchorage will be mostly cloudy with a chance of snow highs in the mid 30s. And we'll see a little chance of snow here as well, but that might not be until tomorrow. Tonight, however, is projected to be partly cloudy with light winds, a zero degree forecast for our overnight low. Tomorrow is the Super Bowl. So does it really matter what the temperature is outside? You're gonna be inside all day anyway. Okay, for those of you who do want to know, it's actually gonna be really nice. A chance of snow and a high of 20 degrees, an overnight low of nine above. And here's your extended forecast for the upcoming work week. Nice temperatures will continue on Monday as will the snow, but then this, when the snow is gone, we dip down a little for our overnight lows until we get the snow back. It should be a pretty enjoyable week weather-wise until I see you back here next Saturday.